Hello everyone, back again with us, Blue Caps. In this video, we will continue Isekai to Cheat Skill Anime Storyline. The seventh episode shows Yuya's adventures in another world, then Yuya accidentally meets a girl who needs help. We warn you that this video will contain spoilers, and we recommend you watch the original film. But before that, remember to click the subscribe button and the bell icon to catch our latest videos. This anime begins by showing Yuya has learned imagination manifestation magic, allowing him to cast teleportation magic to make it easier for Yuya to travel. After that, Yuya is seen adventuring into the cave, but Yuya accidentally meets a group of goblins and immediately kills them. Yuya realizes that his partnership with Knight has grown rapidly, and Yuya gets many items after killing many monsters. They exit the cave and are about to return home, but Knight accidentally hears something and tells Yuya to hide. It is seen from a distance there is a girl surrounded by a group of strong goblins. Yuya tries to help but is stopped by Knight. The girl also manages to cut one of the goblins' bodies, but she is outnumbered and cornered. When she is about to be killed, Yuya and Knight come to kill all the goblins, and then another goblin appears to attack Yuya until Yuya takes out his whip weapon to defeat all the goblins. Yuya tries to escape the forest with the girl, but suddenly the girl awakes. Yuya also gives a healing potion, and the girl's wound immediately disappears. The girl's name is Luna, and it is seen that Knight still doesn't like Luna. Yuya asks why Luna is in the forest, then Luna answers that she was practicing, but the goblins attacked her. Yuya also says that he was also training with Knight which amazed Luna. Luna thanks Yuya for saving her. Then because her body is dirty, Yuya orders Luna to soak in his bath. Luna is so happy to see such a nice bathtub. Luna is also amazed to hear that the bathtub is a result of Yuya killing a strong monster. Luna has plans to invite Yuya to practice together in the forest, and Yuya who can't refuse, immediately agrees which makes Luna happy. Meanwhile, Knight is also not wary of Luna anymore there. The next day, they practice together to kill lots of monsters. Their cooperation paid off, and Yuya understood how to fight well there. Luna also has the ability to thread that can kill monsters. After that, Yuya cannot practice together anymore because Yuya will go to study. Luna accepts that, and they thank each other for practicing together. After that, Yuya takes a bath to relieve his tiredness but Luna wants to take a bath with him which surprises Yuya. Luna thinks because of Yuya, Luna's abilities are stronger, and she is delighted to have been saved by Yuya before. But accidentally, Luna's towel falls which makes them awkward there. After that, Yuya returns to school to study outside, and it is seen that Yuya is busy playing cards with his friends on the bus, but Yuya is sleepy because he had previously practiced with Luna. After that, Yuya and his friends arrive at the destination. It is seen that the place is huge, and there is a vast forest around it. Mr. Sawada also directs them to adapt there and find food to eat. They are also surprised that the students must stay overnight in the forest to practice independence. Teachers also help there, including a health teacher named Yomakawa who looks scary. They will also get bonuses from the results of inter-class competitions. Meanwhile, Yuya's group is also in the forest, but Yuya has no experience surviving in the middle of the forest. Akira also tries to show off his abilities to them, but his friends don't care about him. Yuya and Kaede will go fishing for fish, and Akira is left there. Many people go fishing in the river, and Yuya cannot get a spot. There is also Ryo who goes fishing, and Yuya looks for a spot for himself. But Yuya finds a shallow place with lots of fish. Because it is difficult to fish in the shallow area, Yuya uses his ability to catch fish with his own hands. 
By training with Luna, Yuya finally manages to get fish that makes Kaede happy. Everyone is so amazed by Yuya's skill in catching fish until they don't realize that they caught so many fish. Then it shows Luna who manages to cut the statue's head with her thread. Luna realizes that her abilities are getting stronger because of Yuya's help. Luna also hopes to be with Yuya a little longer, but Luna realizes she is a murderer, so she cannot meet Yuya again. Meanwhile, it is seen that Princess Lexia is also going somewhere with her horse-drawn carriage. Who will Luna kill next, and what are Yuya's next plans in another world? Let's see it in the next episode. So, is it interesting enough about the storyline of this anime? If you're still curious about the continuation of this anime, you can wait for the latest video on our channel. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.